We turn now to athletes and mental health, an issue that has risen to prominence this summer with the public struggles of tennis star Naomi Osaka as well as U.S. Olympic gymnast Simone Biles, both of whom withdrew from major competitions, citing the challenging mental aspects of being world-class athletes. And tonight we speak with former top American tennis player Marty Fish, who faced his own battle with anxiety when he withdrew from the U.S. Open back in 2012 before a high-profile match with Roger Federer. His story is chronicled in the new Netflix documentary untold breaking point which premieres tonight here's a preview I had trained for my entire life I had to win every single time but I had a case of severe anxiety disorder it was such an intense level of competitiveness all of a sudden my mind is a million places we weren't best friends we were brothers and I don't know that I completely understood what was going on to play the greatest player of all time. And my heart is just racing. I didn't know what to do. 100% perfect. I want to share my story so I can help. Marty Fish, kind enough to join us tonight. Marty, thank you for that. You know, it's certainly difficult, I think, for many people to understand the pressure that professional athletes face that goes certainly well beyond the physical. First, just take us through that moment for you back in 2012 when you were about to face world number one, Roger Federer, You're sitting in the car with your wife. And then what happened to cause you to not walk out on the court that day? Uh, th yeah, thank you for having me. No, it's... Um... It's tough to watch that sometimes because it brings back a lot of um, a lot of those memories. And and you know, as athletes, we we've never um, you know we've never really been trained to give up or trained to show weakness. Um, if we do, uh, you know, tennis specifically, we're always on the other side of the looking on the other side of the court, and we've got. If I've got someone that's got their hands on their knees or something like that, I can um, see that they're hurting or they're tired or whatever, and that gives me more momentum. Um, and so we're sort of trained as a as a young athlete to um, to never show that weakness or show fear. Um, and so I was in the car headed there, and and you know in the depths of uh, severe uh, anxiety disorder or anxiety, whatever at the time, I wasn't really sure what it was. Um, and my wife, thank God she was there. Um, and maybe I just needed a little woman's touch and someone who, um, you know, just didn't, maybe she didn't really understand, um, or, or know what I had sort of trained for my whole life. Um, uh, and she said, you, you know, you don't have to play. And that never would have crossed my mind. It didn't, it didn't cross my mind before. And it, I don't think it ever would have had she not been there or said that, um, and so uh, thankful to her. Um, she was an angel through this whole thing. It's so important to have a, a big support system. At the time, it was almost unheard of for a professional athlete to talk about their mental health. And we know that some stigma can, can still be prevalent today. What do you think has gotten better since you faced your own anxiety issues? And what still needs to improve for athletes? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I was a sports fan and have been a sports fan my whole life. So um, I wanted a success story to lean on um, when I was going through that process, um, you know, sort of getting my the process of getting my life back. Um, uh, you know, I was in, uh, in my house for months and months and months at a time, couldn't leave, uh, didn't feel comfortable leaving. Um, and so I, I followed sports, all sports, really, and, and um uh, didn't have that sort of story that I could go, oh, yeah, I remember that athlete um, was uh, at the top of the game and was, you know, sort of taken away with uh, some mental health issues, whatever it was, whether it be panic, depression, anxiety, whatever. And um, and then they got back into it and they got to a high level, got back to a high level again. Um, and I, I, I didn't have that. I didn't, um, I didn't remember. I didn't know of any um, scenarios, situations where athletes had gone through something like that, at least vocally. Um, so I felt like if I told my story at the very least, um, it would give someone a success story that was in my position um, when I was going through it. And you've said that we need to stop making a distinction between mental health and physical health. Can you elaborate on that? Mental health doesn't care what you do for a living or what your name is or what your last name is. So um, everyone's bubble and world is its own um, and has its own stresses and anxieties. and. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't matter that I was a professional, you know, professional athlete doing doing this. Um, uh, and, and so I just, you know, I felt um, I felt like it was 
super important to um, to have them understand that when athletes walk around or when someone when anyone walks around if you're a, a journalist or anything you, you sprain your ankle you walk around and you you're limping and you can see that um, you can't tell if somebody's struggling with mental health um, even though I feel like it's a you know the brain is part of your body after Naomi Osaka was was knocked out of the U.S. Open this past week, she said that she plans to take a break from playing tennis. And I, I want to play something that she said in her post-match press conference. Recently, um, like when I win, I don't feel happy. I feel more like a relief. Um, and then when I lose, I feel very sad. And I don't, I don't think that's normal. What were you thinking when you watched that press conference and, and the various discussions surrounding the pressure in her career lately? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I can't um, I can't pretend to understand the pressures that someone like her is going through. I mean, she's the you know, she has a lot of a lot of eyeballs on her, first of all. Um, I can understand that. But but, you know, she's got a ton of sponsorships and, you know, she's the, the most marketable female athlete of all time. She's broken records in terms of how much uh, how much she's made off the court so um, you know tons of respect for her in, in how she's gone about uh, opening up um, you know trying you know telling people trying to make people understand that um, sometimes it's not fun to talk to the press sometimes it's not fun to um, you know it's not all glamorous and and tennis is a really um, a really difficult sport in terms of when you leave the locker room, you're all by yourself. I think she's handled it beautifully. And to be honest, I mean, um, she's uh, she's sad. She's unhappy. She's um, not comfortable playing right now. Um, and and you can you know you can you can see that um, you can see it in her results, unfortunately. And then you can um, you can see she's a sweet, um, shy person, and not everybody's born for the spotlight like this. And it's important for people to understand she's a human um, and she's got those types of emotions. She can tell us what she's going through, but there's probably more things that she's dealing with. And, um, and, and I wish her nothing but the best. We're friends, we practice, we live here and out here in Los Angeles. I, I try to take the court with her from time to time. She, she kicks my butt now. <laughs> um, so it's, you know, so I, I root for her like crazy and, and hope that she's, um, she just finds happiness. Marty Fish, we thank you so much for not just your time, but for sharing your story, which I, I think will have uh, a really positive impact on so many people who are suffering from anxiety, not just the professional athletes, but people in various walks of life. So we thank you and do want to remind our viewers that all five episodes of the documentary series Untold are available now on Netflix. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.